Hello. In this video, let's talk about the relationship between an array and a pointer, the similarities, dissimilarities. And also we talk about what is point arithmetic. To start with, I have an array of five elements initialized to numbers one to five. And this is how it looks like in memory. We give some imaginary addresses. Starting from 100 to 103 is the addresses for first element. Second element starts at 104. Third starts at 108 and so on. Of course, with the assumption that integer occupies four bytes. Well, that's the case in my program for now. Also, we have a pointer variable, which is like this. And this is initially not set to anything. And the first thing I want to do is, I want to assign A to this pointer. Remember, A is always containing the address of first element. That's the most important point in C. So A contains the address of uh, the first element in the array, which is 100. So when I say assign A to P, you are not assigning the array. You are assigning only the address of the first element, which happens to be 100. So now P points to the array. So P is exactly pointing to the first element of the array. And from now onwards, whenever you say P, you are actually accessing the array indirectly. And look at these two notations. This is called array notation, where we simply say, get me the value from zeroth element of the array. And this is going to give you one because A of zero is one. Now the next one is star p where we are talking about going to the location pointed by p and taking the value from that location and even this is supposed to give you the same value as a of 0 because p points to a means p points to the first element of this array. But array is having five elements and the total size of array is uh, 20 bytes whereas p is a pointer which is pointing to that and its size is only four you can see that by running this program and this is supposed to give you two sizes size of array size of pointer so it should be 20 and 4 we'll see that when i run this but before i run the program I want to focus on this statement which is incrementing p by 1. This is not the normal increment. This is called as pointer arithmetic. So this is where we are incrementing the pointer by 1 and this is called pointer arithmetic. So this is pointer arithmetic. So when we talk about pointer arithmetic here, if you see this P plus plus is actually incrementing P by four bytes, not by one, because P is a pointer pointing to integer. Integer occupies four bytes. So this statement P plus plus is actually changing. This P plus plus is changing this P here to 104 because that's what we mean by incrementing a pointer by four bytes. So now this is no longer pointing to 100, it points to 104. So let's just erase this. This is no longer pointing to that and it is now pointing to this location. So if I say star P, I'm accessing the value that is present at uh, address 104 onwards and this is going to give me the value at that location that is 2. So 
the output of this printf is supposed to be here we are supposed to see two so the output of the program should be one there and one here because at that time pointer was pointing to 100 and the sizes should be 20 and 4 and here because of this point arithmetic as we incremented p by 1 we made it point to the next element and now i'm accessing the value from that location and in this case it's going to be 2 and also we can use our normal array notation with this pointer okay let me run this program let us compile and run and this is the output as we discussed the value of a of 0 is 1 the value of a star p is also 1 because p is pointing to a the size of a is 20 but the size of p is only 4 and then star p after incrementing p by 1 is pointing to second location so the value is 2 and even if i use something like a point annotation that is fine so c allows me to access the value in this way now p can be treated just like an array and you can run this and this notation should give you the value 2 see that's interesting now we are actually talking about something like p of we are talking about p of 0 but by the time we give this p is already pointing to the location with address 104 so we are getting the value from that location so whether we use pointer notation or array notation it's one and the same we can always interchange those two and this p plus plus is pointer arithmetic well coming to another important part of uh, pointers and arrays when you pass an array to a function so here i want to pass array a to print function and print function is expecting an array of uh, five integers uh, in fact uh, it doesn't matter what you give here because c never takes this into account so if i have to show you the graphical representation this is exactly what we have when it comes to your your arr this is your arr and it is now containing the address of a that means the address of the first element of your array so arr is actually pointing to 100 so this is pointing to this location so what matters here is the address and c does not bother about the size even if you don't give that the program is still fine you can still compile it and run it so if i run this program i should be getting all the elements of my array so there we are i run and you can see i'm getting the values one to five so it doesn't matter whether i give size or not i can also go one step further and replace this with something like pointer declaration even then arr is a pointer and it is pointing to the first location of array and even this gives exactly the same result so you can see here i'm getting the same result so it doesn't matter which way you go because internally what you have to understand is this a is passed means address is passed you can take it either as a pointer or as an array declaration might be anything but it's all about a pointer at the end so that's the relationship between pointer and array but one last thing this array name is a constant you can never change this array so a plus plus is not a valid statement and here the compiler is complaining because if you change a you lose the starting address of the array that makes array inaccessible so you're not allowed to change the value of a that means the address that is 
the first elements address that you cannot change so a is like a constant you can't change it but of course you can assign a to p and then the p can be modified to any value so this is about the similarity between the array and pointer the the difference between array and pointer and these are some fundamentals related to the comparison of array and pointer so that's all for now thanks for watching